Hi, this is a redo of the brake calipers because the movie is so beautifully done I thought I'd do another. Here's the tools you're going to need. Um, a ruler, a couple compasses, and a scribe. You don't need to scribe. Compass comes in handy. Right there I'm trying to show you it's about... Yeah, a lot of good. There's 20 thousandths card, one millimeter thick for the brakes. Did two, obviously back and front side okay now I'm doing the inside circle back where the um, bearing would be in the axle all right now I'm using the scribe here which by the way I gotta get the points evened up I couldn't find a good one but anyway if you get them sharp enough they'll cut circles really nice until you get too small using the old trusty drill bit number 11 blade every once in a while I'll flip it over and do the other side Hmm, wonder what I'm doing there. Can't see it. Oh, still on the hole. Well, this is just made up. I just briefly measured the Corvette C7R's um, rotors, but I ain't making one for them. They had something totally different than what's found on a normal car. Um, is the disc, the rotor, and the brake caliper came off at the same time and they didn't have to bleed the brakes. That's why I think they have electric brakes, which I knew they had as far as electric actuated. So all they'd have to do is unplug the electrics and that would run hydraulic. Um, and the electric servo would run hydraulics for the brakes right just before the brake wheel the wheel I could be wrong here I'm rounding them up I got both of them sandwiched together as soon as I find out which way I want to go with this I'm going to cut the veins or the cooling slits out near was too wide I'm doing this in a hurry, so I didn't measure anything, so I'm just trying to get it done to show you guys how, how I did it or how it can be done with any car. I might do it on brake drums, you know, that'd be good for an old model car or whatever. <clears throat> First I make like a crosshair and then I fill it in and you don't want to go past that hole you can but then you got to trim it out and yeah it can be kind of a pain in the butt so I'm filling it in slowly We just have one of them want to lay over. I'm cutting these a little longer because he's going to fill in and I trim them after they're together. That way I don't have to worry about it so much. It's easier to put them on. I hit them with liquid glue here. First of all, I have no idea how many cooling slots there are in a disc brake. I never counted them on my truck 
or my car. So I'm just making it look like it. All right, guys. I guess you could probably use stretch sprue or something like that if you're good at making that consistently. Obviously it's all dried and I am trimming it after I glued the top on. I had to cut that out, otherwise that would have been over my time limit. And it's really nothing that important. Sanding them off, making sure that everything is smooth. You'll see me trimming on it every now and then. I'll see where it's at around and uh, I'll trim on it. No, I'm not a perfect modeler. See, I'm rotating it as I slide it over the um, sandpaper. Really quite heavy. I think it's like 120, but that'll get her down pretty quick. I didn't do any painting on this or anything. I just wanted to show you how to do this. You guys can paint it how you feel if, when you make one for your car or whatever. Remember, aircraft was the first ones to have disc brakes, so... I'm using the um, the liquid glue here to smooth things out and kind of soften it up again and then I'll go back and straighten every one that isn't quite vertical. Here I'm making the brake shoes out of 20 thousandths card or one millimeter. That's a guess. I should I should say it's Americans don't say card, but this idiot does. Um, sheet plastic, sheet. Read too many English model magazines when I'm in my youth, and I still have them, by the way. I glue the brake pads on first because it just is easier. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you could probably make it and actually put it on like a disc brake. I did not do any um, brackets or anything to hold the brake pad to the uh, A-frame or the, what do they call it, where the, what do they call that, where the steering is, um, not the A-frame, but where it comes between the two. Anyway, I didn't make any bra brackets where a long bolt goes through to hold everything, hold the brake, the caliper, and everything on on that. Whatever it is, it's where the ball joints are. Now I'm hitting it with some um, plaster struck glue. Wish I'd have moved it over towards the X a little more. I got marked out. My camera has lousy depth of field this close. These are the actual caliper sim cylinders that I'm making now. I did this on the C7R, but they had two. I was going to do one like on my Chevy pickup, which has one big one. And it's about maybe three inches, 90 millimeters diameter, whatever. Now I'm making the top of the brake cylinder. 
or the uh, caliper and there's usually a slot and that's what I'm cutting is a slot where air can escape through the top of it um, along let alone all the way around but there's enough to where air can so I'm showing you there that I'm just making sure I got it the right width then I just kind of foamily draw it out Here I'm using the rounded nose pliers to start a curl in it. And I'll use my fingers to get it to go more. Rounded the edges because they are cast steel. I want it flush with the back, overhanging the front a little because I got to put the front frame in that holds the front pad on, or I should the outside pad on. Here I'm making that front bracket frame that is actually made into the um, caliper housing in it. So that's what I'm doing now. That's why it's a big overhang. The small hole, I was thinking about even putting some holes in there for um, lug nuts, um, bolts, you know. But I decided not to. Trying to get the shape down right, and uh, I'm fiddling with it a lot. So, as you can see, it looks like a bent hot dog. There's always a hole in the side, at least on GM, so I don't know about Ford or Dodge or any other brand. Um, there's always a little hole there um, and you can see through to the pad. The pad actually has a metal clip that's uh, golden colored, uh, iodized gold. And um, you could literally paint that if you really wanted to get in it. You could make the little clip thing, the whole thing if you wanted to. But this is for demonstration how to make disc brakes. And like I said, I, I put a lot less time in this than I did on the C7R because that had a totally, I had pictures of the brakes and everything. And so it really helped. This here, I'm going off memory off my truck. It's, that's the last thing I changed brakes on here this year. There you go. I hit it with some of my uh, stuff to bring out detail, but it's not painted or anything. I just did it on the raw plastic to show you what it looks like. Oh, there we go. That's the, there's the back caliper. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please. Like and subscribe and comment, please. Thank you very much.